Ladies and gentlemen, from The Godfather Part 3, Andy Garcia. Al, the, the depth of your artistry is why we're all here. You know, you, the depth of your artistry is only more overwhelmed by the, the generosity of your spirit and your warmth. You took me in like, like if I was your own son. And there was never a doubt that, w that I was, even though I was coming off the street, that I was an, an, an equal to you as, a, as an actor. And uh, you've inspired us that way, you know, for now generations. And you continue to inspire actors, and will continue to inspire actors for generations to come. Uh, you're, you're, you're Van Gogh. You know, you're Modigliani. And that's who you are. You're, you're, you're simultaneously, what I found in you is that you were simultaneously at any moment, you were a great poet and a clown. And uh, what I also found out that you most definitely, most definitely should be institutionalized. <laughs> Immediately. And, but what, what greater institution than the AFI because, you know, Every, every time you uh, are you going to want to get out, they're going to pull you back in. <laughs> uh, everyone would always ask me, what was it like to work for Al Pacino? You, you know, you spent all this time with him on The Godfather. And you, it was such a privileged position for, for me to be in. And we worked for like 17 weeks together. We had dinner almost every single night and, uh, with my wife and my children. And, and sometimes the smallest of gestures that Al would do to me were just based on the time that we spent together off camera. A tap on the shoulder, a touch on the cheek, a touch on the, on, on, on the leg. Nice job. You're doing well, son. It's okay. I'm going to give you the family, but not yet. <laughs> and all these little things, and that all came from not the script or anything. It came from the time that Al wanted to spend with me nurturing the relationship. And that's the essence of who you are, your, your complete dedication to the work. To, to, and you've dedicated your whole life to that. And I know sometimes sacrificing things that you probably regret, but you have, you have this complete release to your work. And uh, I don't know if I can do this. I'm going to attempt to give you some insight into the, the magic of Al Pacino, how he prepares for a moment. It goes like this. Uh, are you ready, Al? Yes, one second. <clears throat> we did this like 15 times, and I would watch him, and I'd go, he doesn't have any dialogue. <laughs> then after the take, he'd go, Francis, I do one more, one more. <laughs> yeah, okay, Al, go ahead. go on and I, I did 17 weeks of this and I would just watch it and I would just say how many canvases did Modigliani tear up that he didn't like and how many canvases did Van Gogh tear up that he didn't like you know there's so many people in the world that love you Al but I'm proud to say that I'm the only person that can claim to say I love you Uncle Michael congratulations